Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and this week I've got a few bigger tasks planned. I want to completely redo all of the camera code and I also want to properly implement the day night cycle. So first up this week I've been adding a few new plant species into Aquilinox, all of these new flowers here. Um, I made most of the models for these last week, I just had to make the models for the younger versions this morning and then I exported them, did the settings and got them loaded up into the game. Next up today, just another quick fix. I had to redo some of the model stages for the meat in the game because some of the smaller model stages were a bit too small and they weren't really visible in the world. So I've made them a bit bigger and you can see that they're much more visible now. Last up this morning, I've just been doing a bit of UI work. So firstly, there are a few objects in the game that don't have any stats, um, but they were still showing an empty stats panel when you clicked on them. So I've just removed the stats panel from objects like rocks and then secondly I've started merging the two shops up here because I had always planned to have an extra shop for bonus items but it's probably only going to be a few rocks so it's not really worth having a whole extra shop for that so I've been putting the rocks into the plant shop here and I've been taking the animals out of the plant shop so I'm going to have one shop for the animals and one shop for the plants but for now I'm going to stop for a quick lunch break I'm going to go for my daily run in the park and then I'll get something to eat So one of my main tasks this week is to completely redo the camera movement in Aquilinox and there are various reasons why I want to do this but the main one is to do with the way that the camera rotates. It doesn't always rotate in the way that you would expect. Um, so at the moment the camera is basically a third person camera just following an invisible target in the world so when you move the camera you're actually moving the target and the camera's just following it and when you rotate or zoom the camera the camera is just rotating around that invisible target. However, when you move the camera over mountains, I didn't want the camera to be going up and down because the target's going up and down. So I always kept the target at the same height in the world, so the target always stays at the height of the water. But this leads to a few problems, especially in situations like this where you're trying to look at something on top of a mountain, because you'd expect the camera's target to be here, but instead, as I said, it always stays at the height of the water, so it's actually somewhere over here. So when you go to rotate the camera, you'd expect to be able to rotate it around this tree, but when you do rotate it, it rotates around that invisible target, which is all the way over there. So today I'm going to be getting started with completely redoing the camera code, and the current camera class is a bit of a mess anyway, so I think it's just going to be easier to start this completely from scratch. So I have now programmed the basic movement for this new camera, so you can see that I can zoom in and out. I can move around in the world and most importantly the rotation is now working a lot better and you can see that it rotates around whatever's in the middle of the screen. So if I move up to this area in the mountains over here you'll be able to see that I can now actually rotate around this tree uh, which would have been completely impossible with the previous camera as I showed you earlier and um, yeah this is now working quite nicely so I'm pretty happy with that. I'll try and smooth out all the movement tomorrow and I've still got a few more features to add to the camera but um, it's going pretty well. Good morning everyone, it is quarter to nine on Wednesday morning, I'm just about to get started for the day and this morning I'm just going to be working on the camera stuff still, um, I've still got a few features to add to that and I also want to try and smooth out the movement quite a bit. It is half past 12 now and I've just been working through the new camera code all morning today which has been going alright, quite a lot of maths but nothing too tricky, just some trigonometry and um, I've just been adding a few more of the basic features in like being able to drag the world around with the mouse so when I hold down the right mouse button I can basically drag the camera around which is all working nicely now. Also I made it that the sensitivity of the mouse is lower when you're closer to something so that you can be a bit more precise when you're looking around a local area but when you're scrolled out obviously you want to be able to easily move uh, from area to area in the world. So it's all coming along quite well and you can actually get a few different camera angles that weren't possible before which is quite nice. Um, but I'm going to take a bit of a break from working on the camera now. I don't like to work on the same task for too long otherwise I find that my motivation goes down. So I'll change to a different task this afternoon uh, but first I'm going to make myself some pasta for lunch. Thank you. 
This afternoon I've been getting back to work on the shop reshuffling, getting the shops split into a plant shop and an animal shop, and as you can see I have now done that, all the uh, items are in the correct shop, and all the categories are working as they should, so you can only see the plant categories in the plant shop and the animal categories in the animal shop, and um, of course you can buy stuff and place stuff as usual. So it's all pretty much working now, obviously I still need to change a few things like the icons for the shops and stuff like that, but otherwise it's basically done. Last up this afternoon I've been trying to smooth out some of the camera movements a bit so you can see that the zooming and also the rotating is now a little bit less jittery. I've just been adding some interpolation to the movement there and uh, I also just created a new icon for the new animal shop. Back to work on the camera stuff this morning, just finishing off a few little loose ends and smoothing out the movement a bit more. Um, so yesterday I smoothed out the rotation and the zooming, and now I've smoothed out the sideways and forwards movement as well. And I also just re-implemented the feature which allows the camera to follow an entity around. So you can see that when I take control of an entity, the camera locks onto that entity and follows its movement. Coming up to one o'clock now and I've still just been adding some final touches to the movement of the camera. So for example, I've just been limiting how far you can rotate the camera so that you can't rotate it completely upside down. And I did the same for the zoom. I've been limiting how far you can zoom out and in so that you can't zoom straight through the terrain. Also, I just added a new option to the entities, which is the follow option. And when you select this, the camera just follows the entity around so that you can keep an eye on it and see what it's doing. So that's going to be it for this morning. I'm going to get a quick lunch now and then this afternoon I'm moving on to something new. Next up today I'm going to be working on the day-night cycle for Quillinox and I have already implemented this once before, kind of, uh, but the only thing that I changed was the direction of the light and the colour of the light. I didn't actually change the, the colour of the sky at all or the position of the sun. So I've just been planning out how exactly I'm going to move the sun around and I just started implementing that here. So now in the game you can see that the sun does actually move as the day goes by. Seven o'clock now and I've just been working on allowing the sky colour to change as the day goes by. Uh, so there are different colours for the night time, the morning, the evening and midday. So that's looking quite nice now. Um, I'll continue work on the day-night cycle tomorrow, but this evening I'm going out to meet a friend for a few drinks. It is 8.30 on Friday morning and today my plan is to hopefully finish off the stuff that I've been working on this week. So I want to finish off the final few issues to do with the camera code. I also want to finish the day-night cycle stuff and then later in the afternoon I'll need to do some editing for the video. So this morning I'm getting back to work on the day-night cycle and the first thing that I wanted to add was stars to the night sky and you can see them fading in here. So this is just a 2D texture being rendered onto the sky and it fades in when it gets dark and then of course in the morning it fades out again and obviously the stars should be rotating around the sky um, but I'll implement that in a bit. Just been making a few more improvements to the stars so I've now created a cube map texture of the stars which means that the stars can be shown in every direction. Previously they were just being shown on a 2D texture which meant that they were only shown in one part of the sky um, but now you can see them all around, which is much better. Also, they fade out slightly at the bottom half of the sky, uh, where the sky is lighter. So, that's all looking pretty good now. Obviously, I still want to do a lot more work on this day-night cycle and uh, improve the colours and tweak the light direction and stuff like that. I'll probably do some more of that at the weekend, maybe next week as well. But for now, I'm going to stop for a lunch break. I'm also going to go for a bike ride because it's a lovely day today. And then this afternoon, I'll be doing some editing.
Just before I get started with the video editing this afternoon, I thought I'd add one more feature into the game quickly, which is to do with the sunflowers. I've now made them always face the direction of the sun, uh, so you can see they're all looking in the same direction here, and they're all pointing directly towards the sun. Just about to finish up for the evening now, and this afternoon, as I do every Friday afternoon, I've just been doing the editing for this week's video, and I'll continue doing that over the weekend, but for now I'm going to stop, get some dinner, and have a nice restful evening. So that is going to be it for this week. It's been another good week though. The new camera is a big improvement, and the day-night cycle is coming along quite nicely as well. Code-wise, it's all completely finished, uh, but I still need to do a bit of work on the colours and the timing and the speeds and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's it for this week, so thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.